Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone had a terrific Easter. Did you do lots of Easter traditions, like dying eggs? Who dyed eggs? You did. What colors did you make? Ah, did anybody put stickers on them? Yes, that's always a fun thing to do, too. And let's see, did you hmm, make have an Easter egg hunt? You did? Did you find lots of eggs? You did? <laughs> That sounds like a lot of fun. You know, my friend Mrs. Policelli told me about something special they did in their neighborhood. And I think a couple of you might live in her neighborhood. All of the families in her neighborhood decorated big Easter eggs made out of paper. And they hung them in their windows. And then the children in the neighborhood and the families could take walks at different times of the day and see how many Easter eggs they could spot at their neighbor's houses. I think that was such a beautiful idea. And I really love that she shared that with me. Did you do that? Yeah, you did. You live in her neighborhood. I know you do. That's awesome. Let's see. And uh, my little boy found an Easter basket. Did anybody find an Easter basket? Uh-huh. And what was in it? Oh, coloring books and crayons. Candy. Yes, lots and lots of candy. We had some candy at our house, too. That's good to hear. Well, are you getting ready to start our day? Let's start by singing our song. Stand up straight and tall. Bend your knees and touch the floor. And sing with me. When I get up, I'm thankful for a brand new day. When I get dressed, I'm thankful I can run and play. When I sit down to eat, I'm thankful for my food. But most of all, I'm thankful for a God that is so good. Nice job. We're going to talk about living things today. Can you think of something that is alive? Yeah, we're alive. All of us. Our pets, our dogs, our cats. Yep, fish, even our fish. Anything else? Hmm, let me give you a hint. It might be growing outside. It might be green. It might have a flower on it. Yes, trees. Trees are living things. Flowers and plants are living things. All of those things are alive, just like us. Now, plants are a little bit different than us, though, because they can't move. We can walk around, we can move, we can dance, we can take walks, we can ride our bikes. But plants, they're stuck in one place. But even though they're stuck in one place, they are still alive. So today we're going to talk about what makes those plants. I hope you have fun. Plants can be big or they can be small. Some can grow fruit, some grow vegetables. Some grow flowers, some grow into trees. Plants are all over the place, and I'll bet you if you look around your house, you might have some growing in your house. I have a few in my house too, but I want to talk about some of the ones that are outside today. Where do plants come from? Hmm, let's think about that for a minute. Did somebody say God? Well, you're right. God put all the plants on the earth to begin with. But then... They had to keep growing on their own. And I wonder how they did that. Hmm, let's think about it. What can I do to make a plant? I think I heard somebody say it. Did you say seeds? Yes. Plants come from seeds. Now, what do we need to do with those seeds in order to get them to grow into a plant? Hmm. That's right. That's right. You have to plant them. Have you ever planted seeds with mom? Yeah, that's a fun thing to do in the garden. And I hope you'll get to do that real soon, too, in your garden at home. Well, there are three things that flowers and trees and plants need to grow. Do you know what those are? We just talked about one of them. Let's see. We just talked about dirt because we need to be able to put the seeds in some dirt. So let's put some dirt up on our board. 
so that we have some dirt to plant our seeds. Now, once we put the seed into the dirt, what else do we need? Hmm, we need something that's going on outside with our weather. Oh, yes, we need rain. Let's put some raindrops up there so that we can have nice, moist dirt for those seeds to grow in. And then there's one more thing that plants need to grow. It's up in the sky. It gives us light. <gasps> yep, I heard you say it. The sun. So we need three things for plants to grow. They need soil, they need rain, and they need sun. Good job. So once we have that seed planted in the dirt and there's water from the rain watering it, making it grow and the sun helping it along, it will grow into a beautiful plant. Maybe one similar to this. All plants have parts just like we do. We have arms and legs and heads, and plants have very similar parts. Down here at the very bottom, the first thing that grows are the roots. When you plant a seed, it will pop open and it will start to grow roots under the ground. And they're very important to the plant. They help keep it steady and help it keep in place. And with all the wind we've been having, it's important that they don't blow away. They also act like straws to suck up the moisture and the nutrients out of the soil and store it so it has food to eat to grow. The next thing it'll grow is a stem. And the stem is the main part of the flower. It's kind of like our body. And it takes all the nutrients up to the leaves and to the top of the flower and keeps it sturdy. Then you'll see some leaves start to sprout. And that's the food factory. That's where the leaves work hard to get the water to come up. And they catch the energy from the sun and use all of that to turn it into food to keep the plant healthy. Now, once the plant gets taller, it'll start to get a flower on top, just like this. And the flowers is what will grow someday new plants. Lots of little insects like bees and flies and ladybugs will come and visit that plant and help pollinate it, which will help make new plants. Now, some of these plants might grow flowers. Some might grow vegetables. Some might grow fruit. So we have to look at the different kinds of seeds to find out what's going to grow. Let's do that now. I made us a seed book. Inside this book are lots of different kinds of seeds and it tells you what those seeds are going to grow into. So let's take a look and you can help me read it. The first one are little tiny black seeds. They're long and skinny and if I plant those in the ground, what am I going to grow? pretty pink flowers. These are called Cosmos. You might have some of those in your garden. Let's turn the page and see what's next. Oh, you might recognize these seeds. Yes, what will they grow into be? Sunflowers. And here's some more. Oh, look how tiny those seeds are. They grow one of my favorite vegetables though. What is that? Yep, broccoli. Let's do a couple of more. Oh, do you like these? I have lots of these growing in my garden. Those are little tiny black specks, and if you plant those, little onions will grow. Here's another vegetable. What is that one? Those are carrots. And there's a favorite. Those big, plump, seeds will grow pumpkins and then we can make jack-o-lanterns that's always fun and let's do one more those are little round dried up peas and if you plant them you know what you're going to get a pea plant so let's remember the parts of the plant by remembering parts of our body our arms can be the leaves 
and our legs can be the stem and our beautiful smiling faces can be the flowers. So just like us, there are parts to the plants and parts to us. Plants are a big part of our world. They give us lots of things. Some give us food. Some can give us clothes. Did you know that cotton, which is a plant, can grow? And when it's harvested and processed, it can make yarn that makes clothes. That's amazing, isn't it? And trees can get cut down and make paper. So plants give us a lot more things than just pretty flowers to look at. They're very important to our world and the farmers that grow them are just as important. So let's find out where some of these plants keep their seeds. Do you recognize any of these? Yep, I see cucumbers and tomato. I see an apple and a pepper. What are these? Yep, that's a blackberry and a strawberry. And then these are seeds that come from other plants. These are corn seeds. You see how little they are? They come from corn on the cob. And these are sunflower seeds. And the reason that I brought those seeds along too is because we eat seeds. Yep, not the, only the birds eat seeds, we eat seeds too. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So let's find out where some of these seeds are hiding in the plants. Let's start with our cucumber. I'm going to cut this cucumber right in half. And I'm using a sharp knife, so I'm going to be very, very careful. And when I look right inside in the middle part, can you see those seeds? Let me see if I can get one out. Oh, there's one right there. Just like the seeds that we would put in the ground to grow another plant. So the cucumber hides its seeds inside. Let's look at this blackberry. Mm, looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? But do you see each one of these little teeny tiny balls on there? Well, each one of those is a seed. And if we wanted to grow blackberries, we could dry that out and plant them in the ground and a blackberry bush would grow. Strawberries do the same thing. They have their seeds right on the outside, just like the blackberry. You see all those little tiny black specks on that strawberry? Those are strawberry seeds. And you can eat the strawberry just like it is, seeds and all. So we eat blackberry seeds when we eat blackberries, and we eat strawberry seeds when we eat strawberries. Let's take a look at some of these big ones. What is that? Yep, that's a red pepper. And I'm probably gonna have this for lunch too. But let's cut it open because I don't see any seeds on the outside. Oh, but look what's on the inside. Let me cut them out so you can see them a little bit better. I'm being very careful with my knife. And look, there are the pepper seeds. Now with peppers, we don't usually eat the seeds. So I'll clean all this out and slice it up to have it for lunch. But if I wanted to plant more pepper plants, I'll just dry these little seeds and put them in the ground. We've got a couple more things here. What is that? An apple. Do you remember when we did apples earlier in the year and we cut them open? What did we find inside? Let's see. Oh, there they are. Right inside where they're, where they're hiding. Little black apple seeds. I'll probably eat this for lunch today too but there are little apple seeds. We can plant those and make an apple tree. I've got one more I wanna show you. This is a nice red juicy tomato and I'm gonna cut that tomato right in half. And you can see the tiny little seeds in the tomato plant. Now, when we eat a tomato, we eat it whole just like this. So we eat tomato seeds too. Did you know that we eat seeds like that? Well, I showed you this earlier. These are corn seeds. Now, they're very hard, and if I chomped on one, I'd probably break my teeth. 
So we don't eat this kind of corn seed. When we have corn on the cob or when mom cooks corn on the stove, that's good to eat. But this kind of corn is a seed that makes something else that's very special. Can you guess what it is? Let me show you. It's popcorn. If we cook those seeds, we will get popcorn. So do we eat corn seeds? We sure do, especially when they're popped with lots of butter on them. The other kind of seed I wanted to show you are the sunflower seeds. Now I put these seeds out in the yard for the birds to eat. But did you know that we eat sunflower seeds too? They are a yummy snack. You crack them open and take the black part off. And when you do that, you end up with this yummy little nut on the inside. And that's the part that you eat. So just like the birds, we eat seeds. So let's try a little experiment of our own. Let's put our scientist hat on and let's see if we can make seeds grow. I have a bag of beans. These happen to be lima beans. It's what I had in my closet. So we're gonna take a couple of lima beans, just like that. We're gonna open up a Ziploc bag and we're gonna put in a paper towel or a napkin would work. Just tuck it in there. We're gonna put the seeds inside, just like this. And then we're gonna pour a little bit of water into the bag until the napkin is good and wet. There we go. And then we're gonna seal it back up. Can you see those seeds through the bag there? How many did I put in? One, two, you're right. Now I'm gonna tape this to my window because I need the sun to shine on all of those water droplets that are in there so that this plant can start to grow. So we'll check in on it next time and see if it's starting to sprout. This is the story of The Carrot Seed by Ruth Krauss. The Carrot Seed. A little boy planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. Every day, the little boy pulled up the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. Nothing came up. And still nothing came up. Everyone kept saying, it won't come up. But he still pulled up the weeds around every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day, a carrot came up. The end. Okay. So let's retell our story, the carrot seed. I have my own package of seeds. I've got my watering can. I've got my dirt and hopefully we'll get some sunshine here sometime soon. So are you ready? I'm gonna need you to help me to tell the story this time. I want you to be the mom and the dad and the big brother. Ready? This is the story of the carrot seed. Once there was a little boy who planted some carrot seeds. He pulled the weeds around it and he watered the ground and his mother said, it won't come up. And his father said, it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. But 
every day, the little boy would weave around the seeds and sprinkle the water on the ground, but still nothing came up. Everyone said it won't come up, but he still watered the ground and pulled the weeds. And then one day, up out of the ground popped the top of his head. And he pulled it out of the ground and took it home for dinner. That little boy was very patient and he knew that he would have to be patient for his carrot to grow and that's exactly what he did. So when we plant our seeds, we might not see them right away, but be patient and they will grow. I hope you enjoyed learning about seeds today. So what I want you to do is sometime today when you're down in your kitchen with mom or dad's help, take a look around and see what kind of vegetables or fruits you have around and see if you can find their seeds. Let's get ready to say goodbye. Can I see your fingers? Pinkies. Glory to God as the angels sing. Thanks be to God for everything. God forgive me as I forgive others. Bless everyone, my sisters and brothers. And last of all, Dear God, bless me. Amen. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.